As we do await more details and that body camera footage of the case to be released tonight, we're also taking a closer look at the new state laws that dictate rules officers must follow on the yeah, job. The Safety Act was signed into law by Governor Pritzker back in 2021. WAND's Hannah Flayhan takes a look at parts of the law that could apply to investigation of ex-deputy Sean Grayson. She joins us now in the studio. Hannah. The Safety Act has clear language about how and when body cameras are able to be used by officers in the field. The law states body cams must be turned on at all times when your officers are in uniform. The Safety Act also regulates that clear and willful attempts to obstruct justice, including through use of turning off body cameras, can be prosecuted as a Class 3 felony. The Safety Act also has detailed regulations on use of force. The Illinois Criminal Justice Information Authority is required to document all deaths and police custody or deaths as a result of excessive use of force. In 2023, 134 deaths were documented by the ICJIA statewide. In the case of Sean Grayson, the Sangamon County State Attorney says he believes Grayson was not justified in his use of force. In a petition to the court, the state's attorney said that Grayson's use of force was unnecessary. And he, quote, likened the scenario to an officer intentionally and unnecessarily putting himself in front of a moving vehicle and then justifying use of force because of fear of being struck. In a press conference, Governor J.B. Pritzker said that more resources needed to be devoted to training officers. Look, when you talk to police officers and leaders uh, in law enforcement, they will tell you that they think there should be more uh, training, that, that we should put more resources to training and that their officers should receive more training. And I couldn't agree more. The Safety Act requires officers to provide aid after use of force, which court documents say that ex-Deputy Grayson did not do. Ever since the creation of the Safety Act, Governor Pritzker receives an annual transparency document with demographics of violations of the Safety Act. In 2023, Sangamon County had the highest amount of field complaints, of filed complaints, which include the use of exercising excessive force. To be clear, state police has not said whether Grayson violated the Safety Act or any policies. However, Sangamon County Sheriff Jack Campbell said that Grayson did not act according to the department's training or standards. In studio, Hannah Flahan, WAND News. All right, Hannah, thanks.